All right, well, Mark is with us here for Feel Good Friday. We talk about something we're feeling good, which is candy for the troops. So we also get into some issues as well when it comes to the law. And the question uh, this week, Mark, Mark, I was told I need to fund my trust. What does that mean? I was told I need to fund my trust. Huh. That's interesting. Um, all right. So what this person appears to be talking about is that they started an estate plan, right? They began the process, but apparently they haven't completed it because what happened is they've been given documents and bare bone documents have no effect unless you do something with your assets, right? So when you create an estate plan with a trust, it only works if you quote unquote fund it, right? So the way to the way to explain this visually would be a bucket, right? Maybe you have a bucket or two buckets, depending on how the estate plan was designed. But you have to put what you own into those buckets for that trust to work. The trust is a contract explaining what you want to do with certain assets, but those assets need to be in the name of the trust. So for example, your real estate, your home, you would have to go sign a deed and have that recorded at the registry of deeds out of your individual name and into the bucket right into your estate plan so into the title of your plan the mark styles living trust of 2021 or something like that right mm -hmm. and you need to do that with all of your assets right your securities the iras you have those third-party beneficiaries you have that um, beneficial interest of when you pass who does it go to it needs to go to the trust for the trust to be effective. So here, here at Styles Law, when we complete an estate plan, we also take on the service of funding the trust because we don't feel like the estate plan is complete if we hand them a bunch of papers and f even if it's nice with a ribbon around it, they're gonna put it up on their bookshelf and maybe do nothing. So we take on the responsibility of making sure that their financial advisor is advised, here is exactly what the name of the trust is, Let's move all of the assets into this so that we can utilize this trust as effectively as it is possible, you know, to follow through with the goals, the wishes and the aspirations that they came to have with their estate plan in the first place. All right. Well, we hope that uh, helps helps you out. And uh, of course, uh, when it comes to uh, trusts and uh, state planning and other legal issues, uh, Mark Stiles and his team can help you out. And they also have a number, a number of YouTube uh, videos as well uh, that explain a lot of these things to get you started. And uh, Mark, uh, people are invited to go to the uh, the website or the YouTube page to learn some information. Absolutely. So at, on YouTube. At Styles Law, we have those videos, as you mentioned, Robin. One of the videos we talk about is the gift of estate planning. So, you know, a parent is doing their estate plan work and they think, you know what, our kids really need this too. Well, we have a video that talks about that. And until the end of the year, if you mention WATD to our estate planning team, Ooh. we will reduce our fees by 20%. 20%, our, okay. Our standard fees for an estate plan, and everybody's different, as we've talked about before, but everyone deserves a good plan, Rob, and that's right. really what we're talking about, and we want to help people check that box. That's the truth. All right, Mark Stiles over at Stiles Law on Route 139 in Marshfield, and get started, get connected with Mark. You can do that uh, through the telephone or online, right? That's right. At 781-319-1900, our concierge will put you through to the estate planning team. And there's a website that we have that's specific to estate plan, and it's styles-estates.com. Check it out. Schedule an appointment, free consultation, no commitment, and uh, see if we can help you out.